Let's take a peek at Elon Musk's futuristic brain implant company, Neuralink's most recent breakthroughs. Elon has been talking a lot about Neuralink lately, and some of the applications he believes it will be capable of, or not capable of, in its first decade or so. We already know that Neuralink can help people with spinal cord injuries, enable telepathic communication, cure brain disease like Parkinson's, allow us to control devices with our thoughts, and even merge human consciousness with artificial intelligence. But as we get closer to the first clinical human trials of Neuralink, more details about what this brain-computer interface can do are starting to emerge. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring in the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. So let's talk about what's going on with Neuralink in 2022. When asked recently if Neuralink was still on pace for its first human trial by the end of this year, Elon Musk simply said yes, which I believe is a good sign. Elon appears to be confident in what he is saying when he gives an explosive response like this. If things go well, we could be able to start early human trials, Elon stated when questioned about human testing of Neuralink around the same time last year. Take note of the substantial contrast in those two responses this year. Earlier this year, we learned that Neuralink was hiring a director and coordinator for clinical trials in the job hosting industry. According to Neuralink, the director will collaborate directly with some of the most inventive doctors and engineers, as well as with some of the company's first clinical trial subjects in the job hosting. According to Neuralink, the director will collaborate directly with some of the most inventive doctors and top engineers, as well as with the participants in Neuralink's first clinical trial. Neuralink has been doing surgical studies on monkeys and pigs, as we know. In their 2020 demonstration, Neuralink showed us a group of pigs who had all been implanted with Neuralink and in some cases had also had the implant removed. In the year 2021, we witnessed a monkey who was able to play video games without the use of a controller by utilizing only his brain, which was linked to two Neuralink implants. Neuralink human trials would undoubtedly be a significant step ahead in product development. Elon Musk said last year that Neuralink is putting a lot of effort to assure implant safety and is in constant contact with the FDA. Previously, at Neuralink events, he emphasized that the business aims to exceed, not simply meet, all FDA safety regulations, similar to how Tesla vehicles exceed all crash safety requirements. They actually outperform any other vehicle ever created. Elon is also reducing the scope of what Neuralink will be able to do in its first round of deployment. Elon Musk talks about using this technology for everything crazy you can think of, like making language obsolete, allowing us to create digital backups of human minds, and merging our consciousness with artificial superintelligence to become ultra-enhanced cyborgs. It's a little difficult to keep track. Elon has recently been talking about treating morbid obesity with a Neuralink, which he mentioned during his live TED Talk interview, which we didn't expect to hear. But it's a claim that appears to be backed by science as there have already been a couple of studies done with brain implants in people with morbid obesity. The implant delivered a series of electric pulses to the hypothalamus region of the brain, which is linked to increased hunger. It's too soon to say whether the treatment is genuinely beneficial, but it would be far less invasive than other surgeries that alter a patient's stomach in the hopes of lowering hunger. Elon answered with a tweet claiming that treating obesity with the brain is certainly physically viable. Elon expanded on the topic in the same post writing. We are working on restoring broken links between brain and body, Neuralink, in the motor and sensory cortex. Theoretically, closing the gap between the previous week, broken linkages in the neck spine, and the Neuralinks in the spinal cord should be able to restore full body functionality. We hope to see one of these more practical applications of Neuralink technology in the near future. These electrical signals can be read by one Neuralink device in the brain and then wirelessly communicated via Bluetooth to the second Neuralink device implanted in the muscle group, where the signal from the brain is delivered directly into the muscles. This form of treatment has been attempted in the past with brain and muscular implants, but it has always required the patient to wear a bulky setup with wires running through their body, out of their skull and into a computer. The main advantage of Neuralink is that it can perform all of this with relatively small wireless implants. So you'd never guess the patient has a brain implant just by looking at them. Elon wrote in another tweet that the Neuralink gadget is an electronic slash mechanical slash software engineering problem, similar in complexity to smartwatches, which are difficult, plus the surgical robot, which is comparable to state-of-the-art CNC machines. So the Neuralink resembles an Apple Watch more than any other brain-computer interface technology, and it's only viable because of the autonomous robotic surgery tool. 
The electrodes connecting the Neuralink gadget to the brain cortex are too small and fragile for human hands to stitch. Neuralink won't be effective against a condition that affects the entire brain because those 1,000 electrodes can't go into all areas of the brain at once. But those electrodes can be targeted on a specific area of damage or injury, which is how Neuralink will start to help in the short term and where early human trials will be focused. Elon commented about the folks who reached out to him asking to participate in Neuralink's initial human trials at his TED address, saying, The emails that we get at Neuralink are heartbreaking. They'll send us just tragic stories where someone was in the prime of their life and had an accident on a motorcycle. And now, someone who's 25 years old can't even feed themselves. This is something we could fix. This is something we could fix. Elon spoke more specifically about Neuralink's timeline in a separate interview with Business Insider in March saying that in the short term, Neuralink is just about solving brain injuries, spinal injuries, and that kind of thing, and that for many years, Neuralink's products would only be helpful to someone who has lost the use of their arms or legs or has a traumatic brain injury of some kind. This is a much more realistic viewpoint than what we've seen from other companies. This might theoretically be completed in a couple of hours while the patient is still conscious. They would be giving an anesthetic to numb their skull, but not full sedation, allowing them to be in and out in an afternoon similar to laser eye surgery. This Twitter user was alluding to a quick and automated way to finish a difficult medical task. We know the robot system is being tested on monkeys right now, and from what Elon says, it is making progress toward being ready for human trials. Elon remarked when asked how close the current version 2 of the Neuralink robot was to inserting the chip as readily as a LASIK procedure. The last fascinating thing Elon mentioned about Neuralink on Twitter was that the artificial intelligence, neural networks, and machine learning aren't needed just yet. These are all terminology we are familiar with from Tesla and their autonomous vehicle development. However, he typed them out as acronyms. We know that Elon Musk is an artificial intelligence expert and that he has some of the top experts in the world working for him at Tesla in this field. This is a skill set that will be used at Neuralink in the future, although we don't know to what purpose. Tell us where you think this technology is headed in the coming years. Is it realistic to anticipate human implant trials starting this year? So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe, and share our channel. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching.